spiritual life is very simple and easy when we know the way. When we don't understand the spiritual life, it is too hard more than the rock. Let me tell you something. In the first Samuel chapter 1 verse 14, verse 15, not so my Lord, Hannah replied, I am a woman who is deeply troubled. I have not been drinking wine or beer. I was pouring out my soul to the Lord. Do not take your servant for a wicked woman. I have been praying here out of my great anguish and grief for so long. This is Hannah's answer. When the pastor angry over Hannah, when the pastor was wrong on the side of Hannah, but the woman, she is replying and correcting the pastor understanding. I believe the pastor was getting old. And God was moved out from his house. Because of his children. Because of his wicked children. And his view was wrong. His attitude was wrong. But the woman attitude was still right. But one wrong thing was inside of this woman's life. What was worse? She was deeply troubled. For how many years? For seven good years. She is praying but troubled. She is go to the church but troubled. She is go to the work troubled. So many children of life is like this today. We are praying with the trouble. And instead of releasing, and instead of removing that trouble and giving to the Lord, listen here. What happened? I believe somebody is going to go out with the healthy life today. Somebody is going to out with the lift, lifted up spirit. I believe so. Amen. A lie answered, go in peace. And may the God of Israel guarantee you what you have asked for him. She said, may your servant find favor in your eyes. Humble his spirit. Then she went her away and ate it something. And her face was no longer disgust. Hallelujah. Amen. A man of God is who the one who's casting out seven years trouble. A man of God is the God, the man who sent for somebody's life to change. A man of God is a God, a man who is re re representing the God's voice, the God's understanding, the God's implication to someone else somewhere. Amen. When the person is ready to hear and understand. I understand everybody is not going to receive the blessing because we don't understand the spiritual life system. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, what is your prayer today? There's a blessing. There's a blessing commanded for the congregation today. Amen. I said there's a blessing. Hallelujah. Amen. Tell for never. There's a huge blessing. It's commanded. If you're ready, you are the one who you are going to receive it. Say it again. Say it again for your neighbor. Don't be jealous. Be ready. There's a huge blessing is commanded over your life. You are not going out without that blessing. Today is a day. You are going to drop it off. You are going to drive off that trouble from your heart. Then you go out with the joy spirit. With the joy spirit. With the joy spirit. With the joy spirit. If you are ready, if you are, if you understand, is not infected. So many children of God's mind is infected. Who is infecting the devil? And look at her. This woman is infected. She is a woman of prayer. She is a prayer woman. Her understanding is not for herself. Her understanding is to bring a son to the house of the Lord because she has seen it something in the house of the Lord. The church of Jesus was displaced. She wanted to bring someone in the possession of Eli's children. No 
not for herself, not to say I have a child, not to say I have a son. Her distress was the house of the Lord. But her attitude was infected. Her understanding was infected. It wasn't to be the right understanding she is taking place. She's praying, her heart is troubled, no joy. She is working, no joy. She is driving a nice car, no joy. She is living in a good house, no joy. Devil is playing this woman. Watch out, tell you, tell for your neighbor. Watch out what is going on. Watch out. Hey, tell for your neighbor. Say, watch out. Some of us, we forgot there's the enemy next to us. Most of the Christians, we are so ignorant. The Bible says, devil is rounding 24-7 around of you. Why? He wants to track you out and he wants to take you blessing. Yeah. Hannah is praying every day. Yeah. She is going and sacrificing. She is bringing offering every year. But she is troubled. Ah. 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 Even she is called a drunker, alcoholist. Do you know why the man of God he says, when you are going to stop, you drink? She is distressed. She is not herself. She is always downcast. Tell for whenever, please smile. Please, don't, don't be strange. <laughs> hey, let me see your face. Tell him, let me see your face. Nice face. Smile, tell him, smile. Don't, don't look like stranger. My cat here, face, sir. I decided one thing in my lifetime. I want to be joyful. That's it. For me, nothing makes me sense to more happy and joyful. The opportunity of what God gave me for a moment, this mic and this altar. In front of you people. That's, that's, that's my joy. My wife, she will tell you here. I'm, I'm, I'm talking in front of her. My son is here. They know me. I'm not a person who is looking for the, the, the food or something, uh, luxury thing, a bar, car, house, or doesn't make me sense. I'm the same. I'm telling you, I'm the same. When I was renting, yeah, the same, my bearer. When I'm living at the moment in a palace, I'm the same, the same person. Nothing can make me. I never even show up one day. I never even change my voice in my house one day. No. But the only thing what is going to make me is the altar. When miracle happen. When somebody is saved. When somebody is healed. When somebody has got a breakthrough. When somebody is promoted. Hallelujah. That's my joy. That, that day, hey, that day, is, uh, I'm another person. That's it. I don't even remember I ask food in my house. I don't even remember sometimes I eat lunch or dinner or no. I don't remember. To tell you honest, I don't even remember. Watch this. Early in, early in the next morning. <laughs> They arose and worshipped before the Lord. Husband and wife. The Lord then went back to their home at Ramah. Elkanah lay with her, Hannah, his wife. And the Lord remembered her. So, in the course of time, Hannah conceived and gave birth to the son. She named him Samuel, saying, because... I ask it the Lord for him. Is the Bible speaking about any downcast about the, uh, Hannah? Any trouble about Hannah? Then why you are doing that? 
Why you are so downcast? Why you are troubling yourself? I have a news, good news for you. Remove that trouble from your heart today. Amen. Devil is playing in your heart. Amen. Devil is playing in you. You want to take a chance over your life. Amen. We are going to stop him today. Amen. Are you listening? Amen. If you are a clever today, listen this word. Amen. 